people. If you want to find out when these times of the Gentiles actually did begin, you have to go back to find out when Zedekiah was dethroned. If this is going to make sense to you, if you believe these prophecies. And to find out when Zedekiah was dethroned, you have to listen to what God says. Here it is in, in Isaiah, the 44th chapter. Speaking about those that make an idol to themselves. They don't worship the true God, but build. they want to build their own fame. They want to make their own idols. It says in verse 20, it says, He feedeth on ashes. A deceived heart hath turned him aside. And he cannot deliver his soul, nor say, Is there not a lie in my right hand? They can't do it. Now it says here, um, verse 24, Thus saith the Lord, Jehovah, thy Redeemer, and he hath formed thee from the womb. I am the Lord that makes all things. Listen, listen to what I'm saying. And, and the Lord, and, and, and that stretches forth the heavens alone. Don't ask anybody else. I'm telling you. That spreadeth abroad the earth by myself. That frustrateth the tokens of the liars. And make it diviners mad. That turns wise men backwards. And make it their knowledge foolish. That confirms the word of his servant. And performeth the counsel of his messengers. That saith to Jerusalem. Thou shalt be inhabited. And to the city of Judah. Cities of Judah. Ye shall be built. And I will raise up the decayed places thereof. Keep listening. That saith to the deep. Be dry, I will dry up the rivers that say it of Cyrus. He is my shepherd and shall perform all my pleasure. Even saying to Jerusalem, thou shalt be built. And to the temple, thou foundations shall be laid. God makes it 100% clear here. Cyrus is the one that gives the commandment to build, rebuild Jerusalem. Now they say that this commandment was given in 537 by Artaxerxes. Does the Bible say that? Not at all. There was no commandment given by Artaxerxes, but he allowed Nehemiah to go to work on the temple. And because th this chronology would destroy their 1914 theory, they have to go with something and, and make up secular history and change it around and stuff like that in order to come up with their date. But if you go with this date, in actuality, and if you go with the 29 years CE, 29 AD, at, after the death of Jesus, not after the death, but 29 in our common error, as him being baptized, then you will come out to 2017 as the, time, as the year when the Gentiles do end. Okay, that's, uh, uh, but there's a lot of things we don't know, so that year cannot be, um, uh, guaranteed, you know, there's, there's, there's variables that are not spoken of, you know, and, um, uh, 1914 is definitely not it, because in, in Revelation, it says, after the beast comes to, bow, to power, in the book of Revelation, in, uh, chapter, uh, 12, yeah, Okay, uh, 13, yeah. Uh, and there was given unto him a mouth speaking grace things and blasphemies. That's the false kingdom of God. They're blasphemous. And power was given unto him to continue 40 and 2 months. That's all. Not 100 years, not 100 plus years, but 40 and 2 months. So when we see that blasphemous kingdom of God come to power over there in Jerusalem. They are given 42 months for their reign before Christ will destroy them. <clears throat> and the reason, the way, the way you have to get this is that the, um, uh, the commandment went forth to rebuild Jerusalem, but Cyrus gave this commandment not 70 years before, after Jerusalem was taken captive, but 49 years after that. But at the 70 years is when they had success. There was still being, being. see that's why it says in Isaiah, 
even in um, yeah that foundation okay thou shall be inhabited in the city you should be de declared places thereof I say to the side, he's my shepherd, before all my insane dreams will never be, be laid. Yeah, so in Daniel it says, but in Daniel is where it said, I'm sorry, in Daniel is where it said, even in troublous times, you see. So it was Cyrus the Persian that gave that commandment. Um, yeah, 70 weeks. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so the street shall be built again in the wall, even in troublous times. Um, yeah, so it began to be built uh, with, with Cyrus's decree. That was the, that was the commandment. Cyrus gave it the commandment, and um, uh, he gave the commandment. Actually, actually, uh, if you read in Ezra and different parts, you can see that the the blessing of God wasn't didn't take place until 70 years after they went into captivity. But Cyrus gave the decree 49 years after that. So that's how you, you would calculate the real thing. So let's see what happens. But this, this shows here, you know, in uh, Isaiah, the 44th chapter, you know, that God is frustrating the tokens of liars that try to enslave people with their knowledge so that they can you know, control their lives and things like that. Jesus Christ doesn't want to oppress or control people. Uh, where the Spirit of God is, there is freedom and liberty. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, so uh, he confirms the word of his servant. Not the false ones, you see. Uh, he says he frustrates the tokens of liars. Um... Yeah, he feedeth on ashes, a deceived heart hath turned him aside. He cannot deliver his soul, nor say, is there not a lie in me? Can, they can't even say it. Even if you show it to him plainly, they cannot see it, and they cannot say it. Oh, those at the top will check it out. And if they can steal something from the Bible and the truth, then they'll alter their view, you know. And then, they'll, oh, see, we're still right, you know. That's the way Satan works. He always wants to be right. But, um... No, there's a lot of uh, uh, very uh, unholy, un unjust things happening there with people that they say are appointed by the Holy Spirit. And there's a lot of wickedness being done in the midst of that congregation.